A class action lawsuit against the popular curl company Diva Curl has been filed. But even though there's clearly a lot of people who've been affected by these products, a clear cause hasn't been officially identified yet. One YouTuber and hairstylist who's dedicating her time and energy to what she calls is the Diva Curl crisis might have the answer. What is gravy? You're watching Inform Overload. We do the news, we spill the tea, we tell you about trending topics. I'm Charlotte Dobre, resident shit talker, meme killer, cringe lord, and queen of all things potato. I can't believe I said that all in one sentence without it up. <laughs> Go me! Pat on the back. Subscribe for a different take on the news and follow us on social media so we can connect outside of YouTube. So before I get into this one, I would just like to point out that not everyone has had the same experience with Diva Curl. Everyone's hair is different, everyone's scalp is different. Until testing is done on the products, we can't be certain about what's causing people to lose their hair. Little disclaimer, in case Diva Curl's lawyers come for me. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who didn't see my original video on Diva Curl, basically it's this really popular hair brand for curly hair. They have a whole line of products and it was basically seen as like the holy grail for curly hair. But many people are coming forward with claims that Diva Curl has completely ruined their hair. Some people are reporting the color changing to grayish and dull. Other people are reporting the product has removed the natural curl from their hair. And more severely, people are losing their hair entirely and it's coming out in chunks. People have bald spots. It's not nice. It's not a good thing. According to the class action lawsuit that is seeking people who have had problems with Diva Curl, the Diva Curl products that have caused the most issues are the no poo cleansers, the original, Decadence, etc., and the low poo cleansers. The no poo alternative shampoo was launched in 2002. It was supposed to maintain curls. It's not supposed to contain parabens, silicones, or sulfates. Diva Curl promises that the ingredients make sure curly hair isn't stripped of its natural oils. But Sephora's online community forum is filled with reviews from people who have been experiencing scalp irritation and even hair loss. Some people are reporting that their hair is falling out in large clumps after even one use of the product. In a statement, Diva Curl said that they rigorously test their products for safety and quality and make sure they abide by both quality assurance and regulatory standards. Diva Curl has also said in the past that they haven't changed their formula, but something else has changed. The ownership of the company and the changes in distribution. Stephanie Mero is one of the people who has helped spread the word about Diva Curl. She started a Facebook group where people share their hair and scalp problems after using it. That group has gained over 50,000 members since August of 2019. In her video, Might Diva Curl Products Contain Carcinogenic Vinyl Chloride, she explains that she received an email from a fan that was part of her Diva Curl Facebook group, and they sent her an article about something called Raynaud's Phenomenon. Several people who have used Diva Curl products were later diagnosed with Raynaud's phenomenon. Vinyl chloride is a colorless gas with a sweet smell, but it's classified as a grade A human carcinogen that causes cancer and Raynaud's phenomenon. Polyvinyl chloride is the world's third most widely produced synthetic plastic polymer. 40 million tons are produced per year. It's used in making bottles, non-food packaging, as well as for construction. Most vinyl products also contain something called phthalates. I think I'm saying that correctly, phthalates. So that's a chemical found in food packaging and plastics and it's been linked to allergies and eczema. Phthalates are very common as well and the population is exposed to them on a daily basis. They are found in shampoo, perfume, nail polish, hairspray and even sanitary pads. Stephanie posted a detailed thread to her Facebook which is the timeline of her experience with Diva Curl and it's to help assist in media and legal investigations into what she calls is the Diva Curl crisis. Here's what she said in the post. The timeline of Diva Curl's changes in ownership and changes in distribution align too perfectly with the onset of these severe adverse reactions to the product to be a coincidence. I believe that the answer lies in the packaging or distribution of the product. According to Stephanie's timeline of events, which she backed up with links and articles, Diva Curl has been sold and acquired by different companies several times over the last several months. The distribution has also changed, taking Diva Curl to the international market. Sometimes when distribution goes international, companies look for ways to cut costs. They could find cheaper ingredients, cheaper packaging. The formula would still be the same, but maybe the quality of the ingredients might have changed. And similarly, the formula might not have changed, but the packaging could have. In fact, it did. According to another video by Stephanie that she posted on her channel, Diva Curl did hire third party packaging and distribution. Diva Curl now has a partnership with dot com distribution. At the end of September in 2018, Diva Curl began a sales process with dot com, and by November 2018, the program kicked off. If the plastic packaging changed to cheap plastic, it could be affecting the actual ingredients in Diva Curl products and causing chemical reactions that could be, not saying they are. But those chemical reactions could be releasing harmful chemicals like vinyl chloride and that is going into consumers hair and scalps. 
Anyways guys, that is all I have for you on this. I hope that might have answered some questions or given you some insight. If you've been experiencing any problems with Diva Curl and you want answers, I highly recommend you check out Stephanie's channel. She researches very thoroughly and updates the information regularly. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comments from my last video about Diva Curl. Ronisha Boussard said, I used Diva Curl for roughly a year with great results. One day I noticed the products were no longer working for my tiny, very fine corkscrew curls. My stylist, who is a certified Diva stylist, confirmed my suspicions. She said Diva Curl changed the ingredients in the products. She knew this because the brand asked for her input. She replied, letting the brand know the products were great and she did not understand why they would change or alter ingredients. Thank you for your input. I obviously can't confirm this story, but I wanted to include it just in case anybody would like to hear it because I think it's relevant. Evie 101 said, this all started around one or two years ago, around the time when the company was sold. Boop. Dakota Rain said, one of a woman's worst nightmares is hair loss. Diva Curl needs to recall their products. Yeah, and everyone also should be aware that there are chemicals in a lot of the cosmetic products we consume. There's chemicals in the food that we consume. So although, like, honestly, sometimes I get like a really itchy scalp and it's just something that I've like developed over the last few years and I don't really know why. Maybe it's like winter or my scalp is dry, but it just makes me wonder if there's chemicals in the products that I'm using that are causing me to have these reactions. I don't know. Uh, my scalp was really itchy while I was writing this video, that's for sure. <laughs> that's it for me, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you in a future IO video.